Come on, boar. Oh, the boar's smart now. <laughs> oh, not smart. Oh, he takes more than one hit now? Oh, fuck. I blame... I blame King Boar for this shit. He's made him super powerful now. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays the Flame and the Flood. Before we get underway over here, I have a little bit of sad news to kind of report over here. And, well, not really sad news. It's not the end of the world. But I lost an entire episode's worth of progress, unfortunately. Um, I did my last recording right before I'm recording this right now, obviously. Uh, the game, unfortunately, hard-locked on me, meaning I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't stop my recording session. So I had to completely reboot my rig to get everything responsive again. Unfortunately, in doing that... My video is now corrupted. I'm a bit salty about it because we actually did some really good stuff last episode I really was enjoying showing off because we finally ran into a bit of luck. And the fact that we're finally at a campsite where we have some flint so we can finally make arrows. So I'm upset about it. It's unfortunate. I can't. There's no way to kind of go back to do that all over again too. So, you know, it sucks because the game kind of auto saves that goes along over here. So I can't really, you know, go back and be like, well, let me just reload and do it all over again. So that's kind of out of the question. So I apologize for that. I... Just, you know, shit that happens, unfortunately, sometimes. Anyway, let's get onwards right now. I will indeed at least try to show you what I've done. Um, we are at a campsite. As you can see now, we have some jars of fumes. This is the reason why I'm so upset, because we finally found... Or, I no, no, I made the stove for the raft. I finally made the stove, meaning it gives us a fire to actually make stuff, cook stuff now, and all these other things. And we're at a campsite where we could find some flint, which is good because we need arrows. If you caught the last episode, which is no longer existing because, you know, never happened now, but the one before this one released, anyway, um, that was the King Boar episode. I was told in the comments that to get ready, if I thought King Boar was, you know, terrifying, oh my god, there's only worse things to come. And that I need to have some arrows and I need to have some jars of fumes ready for what's to come ahead of me, so... Uh, because of that, I'm so happy that we're at a campsite over here that actually, hopefully, gives them some good flint. Nice, more flint indeed. Let's find out if my... Uh, we had a... This map over here started off with a wolf. I took care of the wolf with a tainted mead. It does seem that he didn't respond, so that's great. Always good to see. Is the body still here? Probably the body's still here to show it off. Let's see. Well, the body isn't here. Oh, it's disappeared. I can still search it, but it's no longer here. <laughs> How about that? But I killed him with a tainted mead, so there was only one dude here, which is great. It really sucks, dude. Like, we... We had a good episode, man. Like, you know, I got the raft upgrade to the stove. I got the stove for the raft, and... We found some really good stuff, especially the... Crafting the stove and the raft is so important. It's gonna help us out a lot, but... You know. Can go back, unfortunately, and shell it off now. Some yucca. Alrighty, so... With the gas bombs, I was told I'm gonna need those for what's to come ahead. And I could also allegedly hunt rabbits easier with the gas bomb. So let me give this a try right now. I've never used the gas bombs before, so I'm not sure how they work. Uh, I imagine they probably just do like some sort of cloud dust, right? So there's one rabbit here. Allegedly, you could actually hunt a lot of these bad boys down with the fumes. Alrighty, so they're like hanging out over here. That's where their holes are at. <laughs> That's where their holes are at, he said. Yeah, I know you see me. I know, it's fine. So let's see here. If I toss this like in between both of the rabbit holes, maybe will that do it? Alrighty, let's run back. They're coming out now. They're popping their head out. I could have sworn somebody told me that the fumes would kill an entire, you know, rabid hole over here. It's not quite happening, though, is it? Alrighty, well, never mind. Maybe you're supposed to toss it on a big pack of them? I don't know. I just, I just wasted a gas fume, though. That's unfortunate. Alright, whatever. Whatever. You know what? We have some flint now, so how about we come back over here and... First and foremost, grab some charcoal. And let's sit down. And let's see what we can make now. We have to get some sleep, too. We're kind of tired, but we'll do it at the raft since we have the shelter over there. Alrighty. Campfire, I'm not going to make you cooked mead. Yes, we might as well go ahead and get some food over here. That's from the wolf that I just killed right now. Cooked yucca, absolutely. We have four more to cook. Great. How's our supply looking over here? We're completely stocked on 28 of 28 inventory, huh? Alright, there's still daylight, so that's not a bad thing. We should be safe here for a while. Alright, so all the yucca's done. Great, let's see here. What else can we make right now? Campfire, don't need that. Oh, we need to make the, the arrows, obviously. But the feathers are back and the... Man, the feathers are back in the raft. 
I moved them over there because I had no flint to use them, so I was kind of like, what's the point of holding on to them? There's an aloe up here. I could pick it up. I have a spot in the raft for aloe, so I might as well pick it up for that. So, rabbits, you guys are safe. I can't no longer use the... I could probably use some snares, I guess, but... I don't think I need to kill you guys right now. I'd rather hold on to the few arrows we'll have for whatever's to come ahead. So, people in the comments told me, I think I already mentioned this, but... To get ready with feathers, because... or with arrows, because what's to come ahead is even worse than the king boar that we ran into last time. Let me consume this stack of mulberries. Might as well just have the garlic now. We have five flint. Now, I'm hoping that this fire is still ablaze and we could easily make a few arrows right now. God damn it, fatigue. I gotta have my character work on cardio work, you know? It gets tired too fast. It's like you're running from animals nonstop. You should have more energy than this. Let's go ahead and sit down. Alrighty. Arrows. Nice. We have enough to make five arrows. Good. Very, very nice. Imagine if I had these arrows when we when we took on King Boar. That motherfucker would have gone down. Because I got him with a spear trap. Unfortunately, the snare ones don't work on him. Would make sense. He's kind of a giant monster compared to that small little snare trap. So we're going to use up all of our flints just for this, which I'm perfectly okay with. There we go. Five arrows now. Very, very good. We have two cooked meat. We have a little bit of lumber left over. Jerky. We need salt for the jerky, so that's not going to happen right now. We have a lot of cattails, too. Two cooked meat, three of the bombs, and that's about it, huh? An aloe over here. Back. All right, let's go. I think we're ready to move onwards. Got to get some sleep, too. Oh, man. I'm, really, I'm still really upset about that lost progress. I really hate not showing stuff on camera. Like, the only time I don't really worry about that is if I'm grinding for stuff. Like, say for Punch Club, if I had to, like, grind, I don't really care about, you know, not showing the grinding. But here we made some actual progress that actually helped us out quite a bit. Alright, so for this, let's... Oh, we can probably make a bandage, too, to get rid of this alcohol. Yeah, we can. Alright, so... Oh, we have an excess bandage now. Yeah, yeah. Move to the raft for now, I guess. You to the raft. I'm gonna hold on to the arrows. Coat Yuke, I'm gonna hold on to that. Charcoal? Who's carrying charcoal? That's Aesop. Wolf hide, go over to the raft. There's a spot for you there. We have more feathers. Move over to the raft. And raft storage is full. Uh oh. Yep. That would happen. Alright, buddy. Well, I'm gonna hold on to the traps, obviously, the cooked mead. I guess I'll hold on to this too. Moldy lump. Not too crazy about. Parasite, so we won't eat that. I guess we hold on to it for now. You can make penicillin with this, right? Yeah, it requires the fire. It seems kind of pointless to make that just for that, though. Alrighty, so I'll hold on to everything else here. Let's go. Oh, all of my excess bandages are here. Can you move some to the... Oh, you can't. Well. Move. Can I just use this? <laughs> just use it. I don't think we even need it, but whatever. Alrighty, nice. So, seven spots and two on Aesop. That's alright. That'll do. And we have some extra cattails we could eat if we have to. Let's go ahead and get some sleep, though. Everything else is fine. Gasoline's good. Let's go ahead and sleep. Four. Ooh, we need, like, at least five hours of sleep. It's gonna be nighttime by the time we wake up. Actually, I think we need six hours. Go ahead and do six hours. Oh, good. Rain. Nothing like waking up to rain, huh? Let's go ahead and depart. We're ready to go. Alrighty, thanks a lot, Campsite. You really helped me out. Oh, hey, we have a possible looting spot here. Give me some salt. Oh, oh, thank you so much. That only happens because you usually find salt in those things. And now we could probably even salt, make some more jerky, which doesn't um, expire on us. Oh, more salt. Nuts and bolts. Oh. Move out of the way, move out of the way, good. That's the old Falcon luck right there. Hey, game, can you give me this to save my run? Oh, sure, Falcon, here you go. Ah, thanks a lot, game. You're a splendid guy sometimes when you're not trying to kill me. No, don't run into those things. We're fine. All right, we have some wilderness area. Oh, and by the way, since we lost progress of an entire episode here, we are now in region 6 of 10. Essentially, what happened... We have a marina coming up. I don't think I need the marina anymore. I'm going to skip this wilderness area. I don't want to run into any more extra wolves if we could avoid it. Um, since we, unfortunately, lost progress for an entire episode, we did jump into region number six. Now, what that means for us right now is that the reason why we couldn't find any flint 
the last few episodes back was because we were in an industrial area, so there were no campsites. The moment I entered region 6 of 10, that's when I saw that little campsite that I went to directly. And that's the reason why we have now a possibility of flint. So every region's gonna have, like, you know, a high resource of a certain item, and some obviously won't as well. So, luckily, we're now in, you know, I guess rural areas again, so we can hopefully get a really good, um, comeuppance of, um, flint. Let's loot in here. That's empty, and we have search this here. Fish hook. Good. That should be an easy stitching cut for us to make. And while we're at it... Oh, I cooked the meat so I can't jerk it up anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, I can jerk it up all the time, and let me tell you. And, and Stop right there. We're not talking about jerking it up. Jerking the meat. Jer the jerky, the, the meat in game. Oh. Let's just move onwards. Okay, so... Uh, I guess I'll hold on to you until we can find some more raw meat, which I'm pretty sure we will. Why Why is everything sound so sexualized at the moment? I'm talking about jerking meat, then raw meat? Good God almighty, maybe it's just me. A filthy mind. Can I move anything over to the raft? I guess I can move the lumber to the raft for now. Oh, I have to be next to the raft for that, sure. I guess I'll move over there pretty soon. Nothing else I can make, right? Nah, and I don't want to sleep here. So, let's get on out of here. Now, this extra stitching kit, move to Raft, because I know there's some in there. Nuts and bolts, mm. That's going to take up the last spot, because it doesn't stack beyond 10. So how about we just move the salt over to the Raft for now? That's fine. How hungry are we? 68 of... Um, you're 12 each, right? Uh, 24. I could eat two of you for now. Or I could just have one of these guys. I have so much Kogyuka. Oh my god, I forgot how much of this I had. Uh, I guess I'll consume two of you for now. How's our water situation like? We have two clean... Oh, we have like three clean water. Oh, we're fine. Good. Let's get on out of here. I'm still wet. How am I still wet? Oh, because we were in the rain just not too long ago. That would make sense. That would definitely make sense, Falcon. You understand how rain works? You get wet. You get <laughs> you get caught under rain, you get wet. And then it takes a while to dry off. Unless you're like the Human Torch or something. I don't think Johnny ever had that issue, like, drying off like he was in the rain. All he would do is just have to flame on, and there you go. Johnny Storm is dry again. Now, here's a question about Johnny Storm. Out of curiosity, I don't think I've ever really paid much attention to the Fantastic Four. But when he flames on... Does that mean that the clothes that he's wearing at the time, you know, disintegrate as well? Hold up one second. What is this over here in this map? A hospital? Did I miss it completely? I missed it completely. I've never been to that map before, have I? Or maybe I have. I don't know. It's been I've been playing this game for a few days now. And between sessions, I forget what, ever, what I've done before. I think that was a hospital, though. That would have been pretty cool. But yeah, um, Johnny Storm, when he flames on, the clothes that he's wearing, is that, you know, evaporate as well? Let me come to this dock here. Apologies for the weird cut there. Uh, nature called. What can I say, you know? Every now and then, i got to stop recording. I sit here recording games, drinking water or coffee, so, you know... Liquids go through me relatively easily if you can kind of uh, figure out what I'm trying to say over here. Anyway, what am I talking about though or before that? What we were talking about? We were talking about Johnny Storm, right, and his flame resistant clothing. Let me tell you, I find that to be bullshit. There shouldn't be flame resistant clothing in the world of, um, you know, even comic book heroes. Here's what I think needs to happen Johnny Storm, before he goes into a fight, like say he's going to fight Galactus or something, maybe. What he needs to do is be like, Galactus, one second, I need to remove my clothing so I can flame on. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to burn it. And then, you know, Galactus just gives him a little moment of retrieval, where um, Johnny Storm can strip naked, and then flame on, and there you go. Fight on. Just like a, it's a, it's like a camaraderie thing, you know? Where the villain does have to have a little bit of um, gentleman-like qualities, where it's gonna be, he can respect a good duel. But if you have, like, a scumbag, like, maybe Doctor Doom, I don't think Doctor Doom would probably be too down with that. Doctor Doom would be like, oh, you wanna strip down? Alrighty. And then so you're stripping down, he probably just beams your ass or something, I don't know. What kind of powers does Doctor Doom have? I've always enjoyed Doctor Doom. The idea, we have knit hats, don't need those anymore. I always, I like the idea of Dr. Doom, like he's got a, a freaking badass name, you know? Van Doom, Victor Van Doom. But, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what he does. Make rags. I'm gonna need more rags, I guess I'll probably throw you away or something. Oh, we have like, we can make some bandages with that, I guess. I'll hold on to you for now. But yeah, I have no idea, what is um, Von Doom's or Dr. Doom's um, powers? Does he even have powers? I know he's like, you know, filthy rich, right? So he's got like his own like military and militia and he's super smart, so... You know what? I, I, never mind. Just being super smart gives you like a leeway in, in comic books to just be a badass. Like, you know, you'll, you'll invent some sort of ray that makes you powerful or, you know... 
Here's the thing about this. You know what I don't like about comic books with these super smart villains? Is that... And they're so goddamn smart that they make these, like, you know, creations to, like, you know, give themselves incredible strength and all sorts of other shit. Why doesn't this asshole just make some sort of crazy weapon that automatically kills a Fantastic Four or something? Like, obviously, if you did that, sure, there wouldn't be a comic now, Falcon. Now, would there be? And yeah, you're right about that. There wouldn't be. But, I mean, like, you asked me to, you know, dispel, like, you know, reality or a little bit of a disbelief to make these things happen. So it's kind of like, well, this guy can make a beam to, like, grow himself, like, you know, 70 feet tall. Why don't you just make a, some sort of crazy machine that... Oh, speaking of machines, we have some snakes. No, no, I'm, I'm okay, dude. I'm fine. Why don't you just make some sort of machine that kills the Fantastic Four in one fell suit, you know? I don't know. Maybe I put too much thought into this. I think that's the reason why I like Batman a little bit too much. I mean, that could also be really fantastical sometimes, but at least with Batman, the schemes and stuff are a little bit more realistic. They're not quite, like, too out there. They're slightly more realistic, so I guess that's the reason why I kind of like... I mean, if you have to talk about Superman, then that's just completely off the hook in insanity. But you know what? Superman's got Lex um, Luthor, which is essentially the same thing. Another super villain that's so goddamn smart, so rich, it's like, why haven't you killed, you know, Superman already? No, no, instead he makes himself a giant mech suit. I'm supposed to believe that shit, huh? Anyway. Um, how are we doing here? We need some room again. Big surprise, huh? Big surprise. Let's go ahead and have... This Yuka. I guess what I could do is... Can I make a stitching kit right now? Should be able to. Make the stitching kit. And... There was a stitching kit here, right? Make a stack, goes like that. Perfect. Oh, I'm shooting Snake, why don't you... Snake, why don't you bite him? Oh, he almost got me. Fatigue, fatigue, come back. Snake, bite the boar. Come on, boar. Oh, the boar's smart now. <laughs> oh, not smart. Oh, he takes more than one hit now? Oh, fuck. I blame... I blame King Boar for this shit. He's made him super powerful now. I right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did, did attacking King Boar just make him powerful? <laughs> they want revenge after what I did to their dude. I mean, I didn't kill him, but I hurt him quite a bit. Oh, okay, he's dead now. Wowee, you take two hits now. Or maybe it's always been two, but I always hit him with an arrow. That could be it. It's probably two hits, but I've always hit him with an arrow before. Alrighty. That would probably explain it here a little bit. That was actually terrifying, though. Hey, I see a sapling here. Can I pick this up? Perfect. Alrighty. You know what? I'll stop talking about superheroes now. <laughs> I need to get my hidden game here. Um, can I make any room for anything here? Fuck, I need that boar hide. Asa, please! Quiet down already! You're driving me nuts, dog. Let me have this yucca. I'll get the boar hide. It's my fatigue. Oh, I need a bandage now, hey! Good thing I have like a million of them, right? <laughs> oh, you know what? We can make another bandage too and actually get rid of some spots here. Um, uh, bandage. Make it. Yeah. I guess having like a million bandages actually does have a reward on occasion, too. Good, good, good. Did I search you already? Flint and stitching kit! Yes, more flint! Thank you. Rags. You, I could probably bypass rags. I think I have enough bandages now. Search this? Nope. Search this? Nope. Search here? No. Alrighty. Oh, hey. What do you got for me? You probably have a reward for me, don't you? Ooh. Can't carry those, unfortunately. Um, okay, okay. One second, one second. Um, here's what we need to do then. We need to drop some stuff up or just drop something here. We're actually quite thirsty, so... Here's what we do. I'm gonna go ahead and... Consume water. I have so many jars, dude. You know what? I can think I could toss some jars away. So I'm gonna discard one jar, two jar, whatever. I have so many of them. It's not even a problem. Move to Aesop and move. No, 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 no! Don't eat that raw. Move to Aesop. Task collect. There you go. Any new task? Bait shop. Get your bait shop right here, buddy. <laughs> I really, honestly, have no idea what that even is supposed to imply. Alright, so, let's see, I think we're done here. Let's get out of here. 
All these snakes really worry me too much, because I, I forget where they're at, and I just run straight into them like an idiot. So that's cool. Let's come back over here, let's make some room again. Oh my god. So much. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's cute. It's very cute. Well, I can move you to the raft for sure. Sumok. Mm, I can make another bomb right now. I just need to get the stove up and running. Let's see. Use stove. Kindle your ass and craft items. Gas bomb. Make that. There you go. A lot more room now. Uh, raw meat. Hey, don't we have um, salt? We should have some salt. So... Jerky! Good. Another jerky for the stack. We have four tainted baits. We have four bombs. Okay, we have some cooked yuca as well. We have this alcohol. Ah, uh, this alcohol is just taking up space, really. I have a lot of water over here. Nuts and bolts. Is there a way to stack you guys up anymore? Nope. Boar hide. There's room for you in the raft, so you can go over there. Stitching kid. To the raft. Is there any clothing I can make right now? I can make a boar hide set. Uh, but no, no. Everything else that I have is basically either the same or better. So no need for it. Yeah, I know. I know about the rain. I guess that's about it, huh? So here's what we do. You move over to... Any more feathers here? Nope. You move over to Aesop. Move to Aesop. Seems like a waste to consume those now, so I'll hold on to them. We still have two more cooked meat. We have a lot of cattails. Man, you know what? Discard this moldy lump. I have enough penicillin already stored up if I ever need it, so screw that. Torch will hold on to. Old lumber we need. Can I stack old lumber here? Nope. We have eight rags over here. You know, I feel like I have enough bandages already that I don't need these rags, so... Let's get rid of them. Okay. One more spot available in here. You move your ass over to the raft. And... The fishing lines? No. Or hooks, anyway? No. Got some bolts. Water filter, move to the bag. You to the raft. You the scarred. And let's see, we have a lot of clean, clean water still. Let me just move one over to... Aesop in case, and you move over to Raft. That's good. Alrighty. Let's get on out of here and depart. I think it's about time we start wrapping up the episode as well, isn't it? This, um, you know how we talked about the last episode I lost, unfortunately, because of my computer, or the game locking up on me? I feel like I've been recording, like, for almost an hour now. And, you know, I've only done one episode, which really sucks because whenever I lose progress and I can't, I can, like, you know, produce a video for my recording, my time for recording is so limited that whenever I lose time, it's just really terrible because it really sets me back because I don't really have too much free time to record. So that crash was really, really terrible for me. But whatever, man. Things happen. We have a church coming up over here. I'm going to go over here and pray for a while and hope that I could not have a crash issue anymore. So we're going to wrap it up here at this church, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I almost crashed right through it. Clemson. Good shelter. Often has rags, stitching kits, and alcohol. We're going to wrap it up here for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.